So welcome to another vlog here on Wolf of Dubai, your stock investing channel number one, fastest growing in the Middle East. So if you're not subscribed yet, do it right now and smash that like button. So first of all, I'm still in Riyadh. This is, I'm departing tonight. So this is my last vlog from here and then going back to Dubai. However, today was uh, the earnings season officially started with the banks, uh, investment banks uh, in, um, in New York uh, offering uh, their results of the last quarter. And as you know, I have covered Goldman and Sachs recently uh, in two, three vlogs. So that's why we are looking into the earnings of Goldman and Sachs. Make sure to stay tuned. Wolf of Dubai. So actually the stock is down more than 3% because the uh, Goldman and Sachs uh, stock or earnings didn't match the expectations. So let's have a look into the headline. So apparently the bank posted a profit of $1.88 billion, which would result in a 4.79 per share profit uh, below the expectation of $4.81 per share so this is uh, you know slightly below the expectations and also the revenue um, was slightly uh, above actually expectation with 8.32 billion versus 8.31 billion US dollars and um, the investing and lending divisions uh, you know lost uh, the most and uh, we will dive in now why so first of all we have to say that you know the revenue fell around uh, six percent and um, the losses uh, the the write down for losses was 60 percent higher now there's two main reasons for that so first uh, reason goldman and Sachs is very heavily or was heavily invested or is still very heavily invested in uber and since uber lost a lot of value you know that's why the uh, stock uh, you know is much the stock position the asset for goldman and Sachs is much less worth so that's why they have to i think it was more than 200 million dollars that they have to write off of the uh, papers of the assets and also uh, look Looking forward, there is apparently a big stake that they have in WeWork, and as we know, there is turmoil around WeWork as well. So apparently, they have to write off uh, over the next uh, quarters also more than 200 million uh, of uh, losses uh, of uh, assets in this investment as well. So investment is not doing well that far. So you know, just just the market, the IPO market is you know quite overvalued, and uh, I think that's why uh, this uh, department you know lost a ki kind of um, you know uh, prestige over this quarter However, strong is still the trading department, you know, though uh, the new uh, the new CEO Solomon took over in October 2018 and there was some departure like the, the head of trading left Goldman and Sachs, though, you know, um, the trading department did quite well. Uh, and also Goldman and Sachs looking into new um, areas like, for example, you know, uh, the new uh, Apple um, credit card is a corporation with uh, Goldman and Sachs and that's why they you know can cater millions of people and you know with uh, some um, fees they can you know get some uh, revenue out of there as well uh, you know slightly uh, the overall picture is slightly below expectation and with this big uh, chunks in the investment department you know overall I still think Goldman and Sachs is quite an is interesting trade and quite interesting stock you know I think the banking sector especially in the US is very very strong you know looking back into the financial crisis if we should ever go in something similar like that you know they will uh, definitely do something about the banking sector because everyone is you know uh, dependent on the bank banks like uh, the big banks in uh, New York and in the US so uh, you know the US government will not uh, let it happen that this will crash that much uh, like it was uh, for example with Lehman Brothers right so uh, I believe it's something that you can you know hold it for a very long time 
time. Apparently, Warren Buffett invests also in Goldman and Sachs quite uh, heavily uh, recently. So uh, it's quite interesting stock. Though the numbers, you know, it was not catastrophic. It was not super good. It was, you know, trading department. Obviously, we are in the in the uh, let's say uh, bull market still so you know this shouldn't be a negative if it would be negative then you can see that the capabilities of the trading department might be not so good like the other banks or a general so actually i think it's it's uh, maybe a good opportunity to you know gather some stocks of goldman and sachs in your portfolio let me know what you think and there are also other banks that uh, announced some results uh, so let me know what you think maybe there's another bank i should cover as well uh, let me know in the comments see you tomorrow because i'm vlogging every single day uh, thank you for watching and see you tomorrow <laughs>